streets belong to the children with their budding side curls, walking with their parents and everyone dressed in their best clothes. The Hasidims are recognized by their beard and black hat. Mea Sherim was chosen in such a way that the inhabitants could easily walk to the Wailing Wall. Leading from the Jewish district, the stairs lead down towards the open space in front of the Western Wall, called the Wailing Wall by the Christians. Up until 1967, the sacred Jewish Wall was located at the end of an alley of the old Arab district, which was demolished in 1967. In its place, a large open esplanade was created, which can hold up to 250,000 visitors. On the 29th of August in the year 70, the Roman Emperor Titus destroyed Herod's temple, heart of the Hebrew culture, and this immense stone wall is all that remains. This tragedy was so traumatic that the Jewish liturgy remembers this day with fasting. It is against these enormous blocks that Jews come with a cap on the back of their head to be united with God. Beyond the wall and some 900 years older, between two enormous sphinx, was the resting place of the Ark of the Covenant. Today, pious Jews, yeshivas, and Talmudic schools come in groups to recite the sacred texts, rocking their bodies in time to their chants. But for world Jewry, the Wailing Wall is not only a religious symbol, but also a national one, where even the non-religious from all over the world come to meditate on the ruins of the Temple of Solomon. Tradition has it, that you may slip little pieces of paper with prayers written on them between the spaces in the wall. Thus, this wall has become the keeper of the most secret hopes of an entire people. The right hand side is reserved for the women and the left hand side for the men. They must approach with their heads covered. Near the wall, the hustle and bustle is particularly intense on the three days of pilgrimage. Pesach, Shavuot and Sukkot along with the 9th of April, which is the anniversary of the date the temple was destroyed. To the left, a covered gallery follows the wall for over a hundred meters. Archaeological